Did you know that back in my days computer games looked a lot better? Yeah, I'm not kidding around, but I'm not talking about pixel counts or ray tracing. I'm talking about pixel art and why it doesn't look as smooth anymore as it did back in the days. And no, that's not just nostalgia speaking out of me. Quite a few of you have probably already guessed what I'm referring to CRT monitors. Those screens work very differently than modern LCD screens and produce a look and quality that you just don't get on a modern screen. You see, whereas modern displays are digital and you get a pixel representation on the screen itself, the old CRT monitors were analog displays so you didn't have the sharp pixel edges but you have more bleeding between the pixels and other effects that lend to a smoother, more homogeneous look overall. And the pixel artists from that time knew what they were doing so they were specifically taking advantage of these effects when they were creating their art. With the technical basics out of the way, I want to talk about a piece of software that does a great job of emulating the look of CRT monitors or modern displays, so you get the best of both worlds. And as a little disclaimer, I'm not sure how much the YouTube compression is going to butcher this video, so I'm going to upload the footage in its original 2K resolution and add a few still images here and there to give you a better idea and the YouTube algorithm an easier time. So let me start by quickly showing you how this thing works. We are going to use a tool that's called Reshade with a filter that's called CRT Royale. Reshade is a software that hooks into graphics APIs like DirectX or OpenGL. It will take the picture your graphic card produced and apply post-processing effects to it. So it's not limited to any particular program and there are many more effects available besides the one we are going to talk about today. When you've downloaded Reshade, you will install it to an executable and select the graphics API that you want to connect to. So for DOSBox and ScanVM, that's OpenGL for example. You might want to back up the executable beforehand, even though if you start the Reshade installer again, you can also uninstall Reshade from programs, but I'm not sure if that's 100% reliable. During the installation, you will select the filters that you want to install and that's where you select CRT Royale in this case. When the installation was successful, you should see a little pop-up on the top of the screen when you start the executable of the program you installed it into. By default, you will open Reshade by pressing the home key. And that's also where you find the different filters and you can activate and configure them. I will provide a download link in the description below for my presets that you can just put in the folder of the program you're running to get the same look from the video. But obviously you can also play around with the settings at your heart's content and maybe find a setting that's more to your liking. So generally when we are talking aesthetics that's very subjective and something that looks very cool to me might be off-putting to you. I tried many other shaders and filter effects from DOSBox staging and ScumVM but I was never really happy with the results. Some were just too crude to really recreate the look of the older CRTs and some in my opinion went a bit too far. I personally don't need all the downsides that CRT had like blown out colors or a curved surface. I just try to get the pixel art to look as good as it gets. If you're interested in more retro gaming stuff, maybe check out my channel or subscribe for future content and give the video a like. Another thing that's really neat in my opinion about Reshade is that you can not only install it for retro games but also for modern indie games that use retro aesthetics. I gave it a try with the excavation of Hop Sparrow and my own two pixel RT games It Returned to the Desert and Zarathustra Cybergeddon and I was positively surprised how well those games looked with the filter as well even though they were never meant to be used with it. I'm going to leave you now with some more example b-roll and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. See ya! Thank you.
Thank you.